interested in free building classes, friendly community, or cheap custom bases? If so, feel free to join my Discord server. The link is in the description below. Starting off this walkthrough, we have one of four external TCs that house a nice early game battery. This external is extremely simple to disconnect and reconnect, as I show here. Alright, moving into our gatehouse, we have a window to help us see any silly door campers. Here we have some patricos aided by some small boxes. These windows cover most of the inner compound. Moving on, we have our furnace wall, which adds a heavy raid cost to your compound. This is one of our compound bedrooms that houses a battery spot with two comfortable beds and some more patricos. As we enter the base, we are greeted with the entrance to our starter and a early slash late game peak for our open core. In our starter, we have a section 1x2 that holds our TC room along with our tier 2 and some bags. As you may have noticed, the exits are airlocked with double doors. On this section of the base, we have some early game beds that are connected to those peaks I mentioned earlier. These peaks, however, offer mobility into our open core. Moving into the open core, we are met with our first of four bunkers and a turret that gains an amazing angle through an ankle biter. The open core houses 32 boxes of loot storage and an array of peaks and angles to retake it along with a window loot room. These bedrooms have great far and close angles allowing you to hold your compound with little to no problem from a raid base. The two square bedroom right here would actually act as your main respawn point for both mid to late game. The bedroom has windows that offer angles to roof along with a peak into open core. Here is our roof. It is covered by four well-placed turrets that have little blind spots. These corners offer great far angles and peaks downwards that cover most of the compound. The corners also offer a quick way down into your compound. As you may have seen, this is a bedroom that is easy to set up and allows for quick respawns onto our roof. Here's a small little wide gap that are accompanied by two beds and some extra loot space. Finally, to end this off, we have our final bunker variation that offers four boxes of space. Alright, starting off this tutorial, we will be building our starter, which is just a 1x2 with a double door. And pretty easily, you can put your TC in the back left corner and we build the rest of our starter, which is a pretty simple setup. Alright, now moving out of the base, we're pretty much just going to outline the starter just to make a 4x4. Four four. Now we're going to build the early game peak that also acts as a nice little roof peak for early game raids. Alright, this part's pretty important. This is our freehand. You just have to make sure that you kind of follow what I'm doing and make sure that you pay attention to where my crosshair will be. 
And as you can see, it's right a little bit smack above the middle of that weird piece. It will help a lot if you turn up your object quality. And that's a good way to check if you've done it. And once again, I'll do it one more time, just not as close of a demonstration. We'll now begin with our multi-TC. All right, for this free-handed external, if you're not very good with free hands, then uh, make sure to check the description since Basso is a really good lineup that is actually console friendly. And that was a quick check to make sure that you can actually disconnect your external. If you can't disconnect it with that roof piece, it'll be red. And that means that your wall is likely too high. And make sure to place these walls as soon as you can because those two triangles on the left and right will decay. And then once again, we're literally just going to go out and do the exact same thing with the multi TC. This time is going to be a little different. We are going to do a wide gap and then off the wide gap, we're going to do a pixel gap so we can do a connection. So right here is the pixel gap. My tip for this is just look as far to the right as you can. And then once again, we're just going to do another freehand external. And once again, just make sure to check if you can actually disconnect the external or else you're going to be in for a pretty bad time. And make sure that when you're placing that half wall, you're connecting it to the right floor piece or else it won't actually be a part of the uh, pixel gap connection. And then you know it's correct if you can place a full floor through those metal uh, frames.
and we're going to quickly set up the compound bedroom just so if you want you can make the actual compounds pretty early and we'll complete the gatehouse really quickly say you don't need the building skin it helps a lot if you do have it but keep in mind on every side you're not going to cover the top as i'm about to show you so don't make that mess up That's very important. Make sure you put that low wall or else the bunker above it will not work. All right, now we're going to build up the open core loot room. Once again, on this part, make sure that you place the stuff the correct way. I will mention that if you want a slightly higher top down raid cost, you don't have to put that triangle. I just put higher up. You can just make it a floor. And then now you can seal off your open court and it's pretty much ready to use. And I would make sure to place the boxes here before you seal that floor off or else the placements are kind of goofy.
and this is a pretty easy compound setup as you can tell the large furnaces fit pretty much perfectly into the the compound gatehouse and the bedroom and the walls are extremely easy to place so ceiling and a raid defense will not be difficult at all And I'll do it one more time, just so you can see. I would be careful. Sometimes all our furnaces can be a bit finicky and not want to work. So just try to place them as far into that little cubby that I was doing earlier as possible, or else sometimes they won't place. This portion of the tutorial is just pretty much tedious frame placements. It's not really anything crazy, but you know, just make sure you're doing all of it correctly. Here, the build grade doesn't matter on these. I just make them wood. This placement is going to be a bit goofy. I wouldn't connect it to the floor on the right. Make sure you connect it to the correct side, which is the side that the door is on. It might be really hard to place when you place the single door, so I would place them first and then the single door. Also, upgrading these to Brutalist can definitely help. And as you can see there, you can also just place the frame through the door. But when you're doing the uh, roof piece placements, I would just place them from above or behind. 